Uh, yeah, uh, welcome to EVE Online, name's Major Freak, and today I'm going to show you how to ninja mile, ninja mine in Nosek. I've got my scout on the choke point, as per usual. I've got my porpoise doing the boosts, it's got 31 range, well within. I've got my guys bookmarked at 5 kilometers from a glare crust, each of them. Um, this is assuming I no longer have control, or whatever player, corporation, guild, alliance, coalition, whatever has control of the area, and I'm ninja mining, uh, which means the space is hostile, and I'm not going to be nice and polite about what I mine. This is assuming I mine clear ice in high sec, and my glare crest from low sec. Each one um, is separate. I've got cloak set to F2. I'm ready at any time to hit F2 and cloak up. The key, of course, is to clear the field of any rats instantly, um, as quickly as possible. Uh, to that end, my sorry, my uh, my porpoise is equipped with the appropriate drones to take them out quickly. Uh, it will take a while to target them individually, but if I'm smart, I can get my guys on watch list and see who gets attacked by the flashing. Or just use my EVO preview to see who's got the red. Uh, it's usually a tracking disruptor that'll come up and I'll be able to see it easy enough and get rid of them quick. With that, let's get going. Shifting to directional scan. I'm well within the... Well, actually not, actually. It's uh, outside of scan range. If anything does pop up, I usually assume it is a wormhole entry. Because I've got the only entrance to low sec uh, watched by... Uh, Oh, here we go. Uh, and then the nice thing about doing this for a while, you get to know the locals. And that gate flash I just heard uh, got the uh, gate uh, jump gate notification in sound cranked to maximum, everything else to minimum, and uh, turn my laptop volume to maximum. So yeah, I get alerted. And that's usually in a uh, stereo or retribution. Yeah, so you get to know the players real well. And which ones to ignore. Which ones to be slightly wary of. But always have... Yeah, there was a murmur on scaring away the, <laughs> the amateur miners. He doesn't usually come around here. I believe that was an estero. So nothing to worry about for now. He usually sends in his retribution when he's found a, an anomaly or signature. I believe, I guess it's a signature to uh, go run. I don't play them myself. It's useless. I'm sure some people might get uh, their kicks from it. All right, let's get my inventory going up. So I'm going to kick out my MTU. Get that sorted. Now, luckily, I still have an upwell that I can dock at. It won't be for long. Um, how I'm planning to do this in the future is just send this uh, Myosmos out to high sec. Since I'm watching the only entrance, I can be well assured that Nothing is really going to surprise me. So, there we go. Open that sucker up. And let's get started. Of course, the endurance is only one laser. 
That's 24.7 cubic meters per second. Cooler crust is not bad. I think it's about, what, 500? Glare, 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 glare. Yeah, just under 500. It's not bad, I mean... But the thing is, they you go in after glare, they won't last long. They don't have much in the way of uh, volume. So we will go through these pretty quickly. You can strip an entire belt of... Yeah, see, look, 26, 60. It, it won't take long, honestly. You're in and out, pretty much. Looks like somebody had uh, taken care of that. Go for my inventory now. I usually stagger the inventory. Just to make sure there's not a lot of jet cans in play at once. But we'll see. Get that going quick. Nice thing about uh, endurance is when you have one laser and you hear a ding, you go to it, you reactivate the laser, and you eject the stuff. Simple. It's a nice because. Honestly, it dings, you've, you've got the last of it, you haven't got, you know, you haven't wasted anything really. If you're real quick, on the money, on the ball, you've half a second, then it's back up and running and you've only lost half a second. So that's, that's very good for efficiency. So it's a perfect thing, you don't have to worry about it. Here, ding, go deal with it, it's great. So six, eight. 5 and 11. Perfect. Greatly staggered. Let's turn. I've got a macro for this. I think. Uh, I think it's G2. Where is it? G2. No, uh, wrong one. Is it G3? Yes, G3. Alright. Kind of tricky when you're trying to. set. Awesome. Make sure my... Yeah, good, good, good. Everything's working fine. Actually, I found I don't need my... I don't need the hardeners at all, really. Uh, it's to survive a surprise attack, but normally the, these suckers are so small that normal rats just can't damage them before the rats kill them. Even then, you know? Even uh, the the soldier trainer, the, the um, low sec, um, it drops um, tags. You can repair your security status. Uh, I think it's a recruiter or something, yeah, or something like that. Anyways, not worth a whole heck of a lot. It's only going to give you a a reduction in your sex um, sex status towards zero if you got like minus ten or minus eight. Um, it's not really worth it for somebody like us. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah, any trouble? Just cluck up. Do, 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 do. Sometimes I have fun with the uh, fireworks. Got one of my guys to set to, uh... Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, that's too bad. Alright. Pretty quiet usually around this time, even during the uh, weekend. If you've got an active, uh, there's three signatures in the system. Three. Well, oh, and there you go, and that's right. And press F1, get that back in operations, and eject. Simple. And you usually find it takes about two cycles.
for the tractor beam to deal with something. Uh, which is in perfect all line with the next one in line. Yeah, three cycles, perfect. Yeah, it's great fun. These are awesome. There we go. Done. And done. Great. Love, gotta love lag. Thank you. Yeah, I've got uh, pretty nice skin on this. It's the uh, the icicle one, the glacial drift. Looks okay in uh, low res too. I don't believe I have the skins for the endurances on my. No, I think I've got. Yeah, this is the. Uh, yeah, the. Yeah. Same skin. Looks okay. Yeah, the icicles look pretty cool in uh, high res. Yeah, anyways, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the normally... Perfect. Hit F1, eject. Yeah, normally there's one, usually that's active, and people are popping in and out, you know, every half hour, you know, at the most. So you've got to keep an eye out for surprise visits. Usually you can see them right away because, you know, you don't have that much time to cloak up, and when they disappear, as soon, almost as soon as they've appeared, definitely means they're at a wormhole. And they try to be sneaky and, you know, prepare, you know, hoping you haven't seen them. But, yeah, just keep an eye out. Usually it takes four, and bam, you're full. F1, jettison. Now, see this? You got five, I've got ten cycles. And it goes every four, 40 seconds. I hate math. So 40 seconds times 10 divided by 60 equals seven minutes. I can get to Shuri uh, and back in 10 minutes easy. There we go, F1, jettison, now since I'm no longer, um, I'm going to be showing you guys what, how long it takes, uh, and I figure it's like 10 minutes, and I'll be back and I'll just do it all over again. I'll probably most likely scoot this and then uh, dump it once I'm back just to be sure. But for now, since I've got an upwell in the system, I'm just going to dump it there. Because the upwell has pretty good processing right now. So it's well worth it. Otherwise, I just go one, two, right, one, so uh, uh, so three, six, so six jumps, ten minutes, easy. 
Alright, that's the end of the video. I was going to show you what I do with uh, rats, but they haven't shown up yet. Uh, sometimes it takes a while. But yeah, it's pretty simple. You take out the drones, uh, guard whoever's being attacked, they get destroyed. Uh, with two warp cores stabbed, it takes a while to target them individually. Um, and you get reduced range, of course. But uh, yeah, with this, it gives me increased range uh, for the drone control, so I can easily defend, take them out. And with two speed, they go real quick. Uh, once they're clear, I salvage them. And then once the um, jet cans are being dragged in, there's no evidence. So you can cloak up and be hidden, and nobody will know you're here. Well, if you cloak up fast enough, that is. Yeah, that's Ninja Mine for you. Right. We're all in it here. Thank you so much for watching. Kind of hoping for a rat spawn, but mm, yeah, no.